Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A train moving with the speed u relative to the ground sounds a whistle of constant frequency f. So this is a train which is acting like the source of the sound and a sound is emitted and the frequency is f as it moves towards a vertical cliff face. The sound from the whistle reaches the cliff face and is reflected back to the train. The speed of the sound in, in stationary air is c. Okay, so this can be taken as speed of the sound is c. What whistle frequency is observed on the train after the reflection? So my dear students, this is a very special case of the Doppler's effect. And um, this uh, kind of problem is known as train cliff problem. There are two problems. One is train cliff problem. Another is a radar aircraft problem. So we would be doing that also and this also. Let us see. So what is happening here is there are two cases. So the case number one is that F frequency is emitted. And what is the frequency that is heard by the cliff? So this frequency is F dash. So now F dash is again emitted by the cliff and the receiver is now the train is now acting like receiver. So this time it is going to receive F double dash. So the frequency in the starting is F and then it is received here as F dash. It is again emitted by the by the by the cliff as F dash and it is recorded by the train as F double dash. So we want to find F double dash. So my dear students, as we know the formula, so F is given as F into um, V minus the velocity of observer divided by V minus the velocity of the source. So this is the formula that I use and in many other questions for the Doppler effect, I have explained it really well. So you people can just refer to those videos in details and you can see like why are we using this and how are we going to do this. So in this what happens is like we just take one direction as positive and another direction as negative and we just substitute the values with the sign convention. Everything falls in place. So in this case, in the in the case number one, the observer is not moving. So VO is zero into V. So the sound is moving towards right, which is taken as positive minus zero divided by the sound is moving in positive direction. And the source is also moving in the positive direction, which can be taken as uh, U that is given here. And this speed is given as C. So let me substitute C only uh, just to uh, stay away from the confusions. So let us now go for case two and we are concerned with F double dash, which is now received here. So F into. So now I change my sign convention for this uh, case two. No problem at all. So we can do that. Okay. So now I choose this sign convention that this side is taken as positive. This is taken as negative, although you can do anything. So now the sound is also moving like this. So we have taken the direction of the sound as positive. So it would be plus C. Um, minus, but now the observer is moving in the uh, positive direction. So it would be negative u divided by plus c minus the receiver the uh, source is not moving so this will become zero do you get this thing my dear students the only problem that you might have is the sign convention i will show you if you are not going to change the sign convention even then you are going to get the same equation like f double dash is equal to f into um don't get confused just keep it like this okay so now this f sorry this will be f dash so this f dash is now substituted here and we will find the new formula so f double dash is f dash i'm writing this now f into c divided by c minus u into c plus u divided by c thereby c and c get cancelled out and a is the answer Yes, A is the answer. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. Please be careful about the sign convention. You can use any sign convention. Just plug in the value with the sign convention. Everything will fall in place. Don't worry. Just try to do it. And the other thing that I want to tell you here is that this is the case of train and cliff problem. But it, the formula remains the same for radar aircraft problem in which actually the aircraft is moving. The aircraft is moving and the radar is not moving. Even then, the formula remains the same. So A will be the answer for that question also.